All right, so we had just a quick little 10 minute storm that rolled through here. I think it's done. I checked the radar. Uh, all looks good. What we got going on today is uh, I got Albero and Josh. They're out mowing some properties. I got Jesse doing a fence repair and building a gate. And uh, I'm actually going to go help him with that real quick. And then we're going to do some mowing of our own. So uh, we got a big day today. All right, so right now we're dropping off some fence boards to Jesse. He is uh, working on the gate. Hey, can I not can I not get back there through here? You ain't done with that fence yet. Those suckers are heavy. Oh come on! Get that fence done. <laughs> so this fence job kind of came about. Uh, we we mow the property right next door. Uh, she came out when uh, when we were mowing. She wanted to bid on her house, so we gave her gave her a price. And uh, then she just nonchalantly, she just asked me. She said, "Do you know anybody that does fences?" And I said, "Well, we can do it." And basically, her fence was leaning, and then she wanted a gate put in. So uh, I gave her a price, and she accepted it. And that's what Jesse's been working on. Came over here yesterday, set the two posts for the for the gate and uh, then shored up the fence and then now he's just building the gate and should be done here in about 30 minutes so um, so yeah I mean we're a lawn care company but yeah we can we can do other stuff too and that's what I like about having Jesse on the team is um, Jesse's good at that stuff he's good at doing sprinklers he's good at doing uh, fences just kind of you know handyman type of stuff and uh, we've actually thought about kind of venturing into other stuff uh, other than lawn care doing maybe some remodel stuff or stuff like that so uh, so yeah you know it's it's a nice little job to pick up and it's not going to take too much time and you know make a little bit of money so while he's finishing that one up we mow another one right down the road uh, it's a little bit bigger property so I'm gonna go get started on that one mowing and then by the time he gets done with that uh, he can come over and uh, get it get it trimmed out, and we should be out of there. All right, so this one here is a bi-weekly. Uh, it's a little bit bigger property. We actually used the 61 V-Ride the last time we mowed this one. Uh, this time we're using the 48 Vantage. And uh, I'll tell you why we're using the 48 Vantage after we mow this one. So I don't know if you guys can see the finished product out my window, but it turned out pretty nice. Uh, this is one of those I wish I could mow every week. I really do, but it's just it's it's so big that they they, they just can't afford it. I don't think so. Uh, you know, so it's a, it's a bi-weekly mow, and uh, it's one where there's not a whole lot of weed eating, and you just sit on the mower for about 30 minutes. We need for about 10 or 15 minutes and you're out of there. All right, so now it's the next day. Uh, we got that one done. We did a couple more jobs, finished up a landscape job we had uh, from the day before and uh, had to go check out some sprinklers. We did all that, didn't record anything. So here we are, it's the next day. 
And I kind of told you why I would tell you why I was mowing that big one with the 48 Vantage. It's because the boys had the, uh, the new 52, the 38i. Uh, they had it, and the diesel one is in the shop. We were having a tough time with the steering on it. Uh, we couldn't really get it aligned, and then it got real, real, real jerky. Real, I mean, it was. It got to the point to where you just didn't like driving it because it was just so jerky and and hard on it. But anyway, we took it took it to the dealer. Uh, they took a look at it. Called me a couple days ago. I guess there was some kind of shimmy dampener, some kind of dampener in there. Uh, they said it was bad. They're going to replace it, and hopefully we'll get it back here pretty soon. But right now I'm just kind of loading everything up, uh, hooking up to the trailer, and uh, we're going to head out. we got a few to mow today, and I'm going to take you guys with me. Nice little warm up. Now let's get on. So I actually have to go back by the shop because I forgot a couple things, which I can't believe I did. Uh, I need a spare edger blade and I need some more string. I don't have any trimmer string. Uh, it's in the other truck. And I'm driving this truck today because the flatbed, uh, the seat belts are broke on it. And until I get that fixed, I don't want to be driving it. So, uh, so driving to 1500, but anyway, that stuff is in the flatbed truck. I forgot to get it out, so we have to go back by the shop. All right, so this is the house I did a couple weeks ago uh, where it was really, really overgrown in some spots. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link up somewhere right about here, and then you can check it out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mow it real quick. I'm just going to take a before and after pick. All right, so I made a very rookie, rookie mistake. 